Hey, what's up guys? It is Mark Yoon and today I'm bringing you a hopefully another exciting video. I guess that's subjective and it's up to you. So, uh, as in keeping with the recent tradition of me trying to track down specific elusive release dates for certain upcoming games that we cover on this channel, uh, we have Mortal Kombat 11 up on the docket today. Now, surprisingly, Mortal Kombat 11 is a lot easier to track down the release date because uh, they have a lot more of um, a history of releasing things at the same time than, um, than Soul Calibur does. So this should be a breeze for us, but uh, we have a lot of information to go over, so let's just jump right into it and go over it together. Okay, so uh, I read an article that was like trying to break down everything but I went down and I tracked down all the information myself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read parts of the article, but then we're going to jump into um, what I surmise is the actual... You know what? We don't even need to do that. Let's just get right to the, the juicy stuff. Alright, so Mortal Kombat 9. Um, we're going to start this with a trend here. So we're going to start with like the release dates of the games, just so like you have an idea of the release, and then we're going to go backtrack to their announcements so we can kind of deduce what time period we're looking at from the announcement of the game to the release of the game. So Mortal Kombat um, 9, or just Mortal Kombat, the, the reboot, the reboot Mortal Kombat, it was released in April 19th of 2011. That was the release date, uh, obviously for PlayStation 3 and such. Uh, so keep that in mind, April 19th, 2011. Mortal Kombat 10, was released April 7th, 2015. So we're seeing a trend here. So there's another April. And then Injustice, which was released after Mortal Kombat 9 and prior to 10, but I have it here not in order for some reason. That was released April 16th of 2013. And then we have a slight delay with Injustice 2 with its release date being May 11th, 2017. So tracking in about a month after the other priors. So going by all of this already, we can already tell that we're pretty much going to get like a early to mid-April launch for um, Mortal Kombat 11. But let's not spoil ourselves too much yet because we have a little bit more to go over here. Um, okay, so... The Mortal Kombat 9, the complete edition, you know, the edition where, like, it has all the DLC, because, you know, NetherRealm Studios, they usually produce their games, and then, like, once the DLC is out, they come out with, like, a complete edition, as seen re re uh, recently with the uh, Injustice 2 Legendary Edition. So, this uh, has Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, was released on February 28th, 2012, for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and then Injustice Gods Among Us, was announced later that year on May 31st. So, as soon as a complete edition comes out, what this is pretty much saying is that as soon as a complete edition comes out, like of the prior game, usually a week before or a week after, somewhere in the E3 area, which is like this year's gonna be June 12th to June 14th, they uh, announce the next game, which usually comes out then on the April of the following year. So, um, then we also have, keeping in tradition with this, um, the, ultimate of, uh, the Ultimate Edition of Injustice was released on October 7th of 2013, and then Mortal Kombat 10 was later announced June 12th, just prior to E3. Mortal Kombat XL, which is the Mortal Kombat uh, 10 Complete Edition, would become available on March 1st, just in time for Injustice 2 to, re to be revealed June 8th, once again, this was just before E3 that year. And now recently we have Injustice 2, the Legendary Edition, which was announced March 27th, 2018, and as you might expect, um, the Complete Edition also includes all the DLC for Injustice 2, and it will be in retail stores May 16th. So now that we have this Legendary Edition, guess what we have coming up? We have E3 coming up, which um, if it's keeping in the, with this trend, which it should be keeping with the trend, around E3, about give or take a week before or a week after, we are actually going to be getting the announcement date for Mortal Kombat 11. And Mortal Kombat 11, in keeping with tradition, my hype, 
it's not even a hypothesis at this point, it's pretty testable. So I would say my theory for this game is that Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be released um, somewhere from the beginning to, to late April. So just April of 2019. I 100% that's what I'm going with, that's what I believe. As long as there's no delays, which usually in keeping with other own studios, they usually don't because if they have a delay, they just chop it and they use it for DLC later. So I'm going to go out on a huge limb. Not even a huge limb. I'm just going to make a basic uh, guess, and we are going to get Mortal Kombat 11. I'm saying April of 2019. Um, so hopefully, when it does come out or when it's announced at uh, at E3 and maybe they possibly give us a release date. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to give us at E3. I just know that it's going to be announced. They'll probably show like a teaser trailer, uh, usually probably a CGI cutscene, um, maybe a little bit of information on the game, uh, Not maybe not at E3, but before, on, or after, just somewhere in that time span of E3. So I guess with it upcoming so close, which is why I wanted to make these two videos, the Soul Calibur one that I made last time, is because June 12th to June 14th is E3, so we're going to see both of their release dates, or at least not the release date of Mortal Kombat, but the announcement of Mortal Kombat. But going by this stuff, and again I'll show everything on the screen so you can follow along with me, going by this information, it's pretty safe to say that it's going to be an April 2019 release date. Which is nice because it'll give me time to uh, settle in with um, Soul Calibur, by that time I'll probably be itching for something new. So, not quite a year off, um, what are we in, what are we in? so we, we're gonna have June E3, so, so about 10 months, so about a year the game should be out. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else really to say to that, the information that comes prior to this speaks for itself. This is much more of a solid informational lead um, doing the research than I had for Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur, some, some points of it were all over the place. It wasn't as consistent as Mortal Kombat. But this is like, dude, let's just go over this one more time again. We have Mortal Kombat 9, April 19th, 2011. Um, we have Injustice, April 16th, 2013. We have Mortal Kombat 10, April 7th, 2015. And we have Injustice 2, May 11th, 2017. So, with that one-off of May, I wouldn't even call that a one-off, the beginning of May, there probably was like one short delay, so we can pretty much look at an April because it's been consistent the entire way through. Um, so that's all there is to it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As your research led you to any other con conclusions, um, what do you think is going to happen with the game or the release date? Are you excited that it's so close? Are you excited uh, or anxious about E3 to find out like what kind of information is going to go on with that? And uh, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you, um, and for those of you, I just want to say this real quick, for those of you saying that uh, it's going to be a PlayStation 5, like, launch game, I don't think so. What I do think is that the Mortal Kombat uh, 11 Complete Edition, whatever that turns out to be, that will be released alongside its current console generation on the next generation as well. I think that will be around the launch time, because I'm guessing that... Uh, we're probably going to be getting, all the signs are pointing to PlayStation 5. Uh, I'm not sure about the next Xbox, but I, I'm, all signs are pointing to like the PlayStation 5 should be coming out somewhere around the window of 2020. Um, it fits with the, the time frame and all that stuff, so if Mortal Kombat 11 is indeed coming out April of 2019, then we could see the complete edition coming out probably a year later in 2020. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's start a conversation down below. Um, Keep it civil, as always, and uh, follow me on my social media so you can keep it in contact with like all the stuff that I'm going through, and like you can drop me ideas for future videos, stuff like that. Um, and let me know what you guys think. So that's all for today's video. As always, guys, stay powered up. Peace.